it's an initiative that's sort of come about in the last two years um, directly from the provost really where he's wanting to focus on the creative arts at Trinity so to sort of put them centre because uh, I suppose so much discussion at university is that of research and, and there's a lot of creative arts happening uh, particularly in my school, the School of Drama, Film and Music and uh, I suppose um, they're, they want to recognise this and also they were aware that a lot of this stuff is going on and yet it's getting no formal rec recognition within college and so uh, this was a way of sort of concentrating on it and then developing new strands because once it's recognised then, then you can support it much more. So uh, as, as far as I'm concerned this is an incredibly welcome uh, new development in college. Music composition has been collaborative behind the scenes for years now because uh, the music and media technology course that runs here is actually well known for its creative output. It probably, I would say, among the best known for that. Uh, many of the dynamic group of new young Irish composers have come out of that course. And that's a course that's run in conjunction between the Department of Music and the Department of Electrical Engineering. So um, you, you could hardly have imagined two less likely bedfellows, but there you are. When you look at it in practice, it's less surprising because, uh, for example, Dermot Furlong, who is the course director on uh, music technology, is an engineer. But, so his main area of interest is psychoacoustics, audio engineering, uh, cognitive theory. And so all of this is of very good use to a, a, a young composer who's, who's wanting to sort of break the mould uh, in what they're doing. So uh, it, there's very much direct information that engineers can teach mu musicians about audio engineering. And that's, we, that's what the engineering staff do, that they teach about audio engineering, about DSP, digital signal processing, uh, and uh, psychoacoustics. And then, of course, the composers use these in uh, ways sometimes that the audio engineers never even intended or, or, or imagined. So there's a kind of a, 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 a good creative friction that comes out of that, which <laughs> results in a kind of you know, new ideas. And students, of course, need different viewpoints as well. You know, when you take an area like uh, everything is subjective, actually, even mathematics, it's, it would be a pretense to imagine that it's purely objective. But uh, music and the creative arts is even more so. So the more that people are uh, sort of exposed to different viewpoints, and different ways of going about it, the better. I, I think also that students, like new fresh students wanting to join or whatever, might be under the impression that a university, oh yeah, well, you can learn about what's happened in creativity or, whatever, you know, you can do musicology or you can learn, um, uh, you know, the kind of study music but not be directly involved in the practice of it. And I think what's very good about the CATC uh, initiative is that it shows that uh, the actual practice and creativity of it is, uh, is central to its, its place in the university.